Hello everybody, uh, my name is Jan and I'm inventor of uh, Point Render System and uh, in this uh, short tutorial I will guide you through installation process of the software and then uh, I will show you how to import any sequence from any software to our script and render out uh, the single frame so animation. In short, the basic idea behind the point render plugin for Houdini is to transform 3D scenes to classical graphic forms. Is to uh, build the images like they were created 100 years ago or so by such an artist like uh, Dore or a little bit earlier by Alfred Durer. So this is the basic idea and the system allows you to create the brushes or use one of uh, our 100 brushes uh, which we give you in uh, as a part of point render system. You can use our brushes, you can create your own brushes. This is uh, like basic element of our system and the second uh, element of our system is to that to allow uh, any user, not only Houdini user, but user of every uh, software, 3D software, to export your animation as a sequence of, uh, let's say, OBJ files and put it uh, into our script and simply, after some work, you can render it out with uh, our point, point render system. So you can simply use uh, Houdini with point render as rendering node so you don't have to really know all the software and all the details of the software uh, it's set up as easy as, as can be so you can create your job on any software simply import it to uh, point render and render it out from Houdini so this is the basic basic idea behind uh, this system and now I will guide you uh, through the process of installation. To start to work with point render system of course you have to go to Orbolt web store and buy it. You have a uh, few options to do it. There is uh, apprentice uh, version in the commercial or studio-wide commercial version. So after you buy the download the point render asset to your computer it will show in Houdini but the second part of of the point render is the scene in which we set up everything for you and create uh, and in these scenes you have uh, all the brushes and all the elements uh, this is like test scene that you can learn on and see how the system works so you can download it from you have to go to pointrender.com slash underscore ftp slash pointrender test scene dot zip so so you can download from there all the elements that are needed so first you buy the shader from our bolt point render shader and then you have to download this scene with all the brushes. So after you download the point render asset to your computer and you download the test scene from our website pointrender.com, you can run the test scene that heap in Houdini. It will open up Houdini and give you information that the brush shader uh, is not available in this scene please uh, click OK so now you we will build this scene so you can set up this basic scene to start working on point render system first what you have to do is to go to the top of the tree uh, the file element and select from our test scene in catalog of models the Taurus OBJ file. 
it will open the obj file in our scene this is test object so you can see what we are working on second thing you have to do is to render uh, to install two more assets they are uh, in otl uh, catalog to do it you have to go to uh, import file import and then select Houdini digital asset select from OTL catalog to, uh, to assets this is bsgroup.otl and bs create pc file OTL these are two more assets which come with our point render system and click OK now the assets are installed it's inside our test scene then you can go to our shop shopnet element okay click two times and you will go inside of this element and now you will see that there is no asset so to make it work you have to go to asset browser in Houdini and then you will see you will see uh, the asset which you bought in Orbolt store click two times on this asset and then the asset will will be added to the list of the all assets in the Houdini then you can go back to the to our brush shader and click on the shader and click on change the type and from the list you have to select the point render shader there will be two because it's now like mismatch but select the second point render shader and it will re replace the old one that's it you can see of course uh, all the elements on if you click tab you can always go to the point render shader but let's leave the, leave it as is and now we can start to work on our point render system everything is set up you can click render and see what we got on this scene okay it's rendering now we can go to the details after we set up everything and install point uh, render system uh, now we can go to our scene and we will go uh, through the basics of our rendering system in this uh, scene at the top you load the file it could be one file or sequence of file let's say it could be obj sequence of uh, sequence of obj files then when you when you import these files then you have to render out the point cloud for every object so you go to the bottom and you see there is a node BS create PC file and with that you can click render and it will render point cloud for this object it will go to the catalog PC files catalog so you can click render you have to wait a while for example, uh, on this computer we have 24 processors and uh, for 1 million polygons uh, the process took uh, for about an hour. So it could take a while to render uh, point cloud. But it's needed to uh, computate any other effects. So if you don't, if you skip this process if you skip this process then you will see the black screen there won't be any uh, visible effects okay after we render point cloud we can go to softnet and we will overview uh, the basics for point render shader so on the top you will see general this is you can set up here the color of the object and click and select let's say red color uh, we prefer this to set up always like black or white because 
we see this point render system has a monochromatic uh, system but of course you can uh, set up any color and uh, you can always load the brushes which are uh, full of colors that's of course open system and you can uh, play with that so this is in the point cloud you will here you have to select the point cloud file which you render uh, before so here point uh, render take the information uh, from the point cloud okay and here you have two parameters uh, points number and search radius this it will take you, you can play with that you will see the different effects it will computate uh, more or less points or uh, the points uh, in uh, less uh, radius so you can see the difference you can play with that and achieve different effects uh, in the last stack brush here you can import any brush it could be a single brush uh, or it could be sequence of brushes now we have the sequence of brushes if you want to create the, your own brushes or the sequence of brushes you can do it and you have to overview how we name the files so it will work properly here you put the where uh, the brushes are located here name and the extension of brush uh, here you can if you have many brushes you can put here uh, how many brushes because not only you can import sequence but uh, you can also pick number of brushes which uh, every other brush will be different so you can play with that and select more brushes if, if the brushes are missed you will see the red color but if we pick the select the brushes we can go to let's say uh, our stack of static brushes go to basic and we can create and we can select sphere okay now we have to remove the name from here light put the name here sphere tga and we have the, our brushes our brush here uh, now you have so you have this number of brushes so we can uh, to show you how it works you will see for example uh, and let's say line and you see that we have like sequence one two three four five six line okay so we go to line put the name here okay and now we can select more of them because we have like six of them so let's select six and we see the different brushes on the object you can use the random seed you will then they will randomly pick the space on the object now the next two elements are a light influence car this is how the light is, is influencing our object you can play with that you can like invert the light easily so you will see the now you have like inverted light the next uh, area is uh, face area uh, influence curve here you have the information how the it will influence the faces on the object okay so you can play with that the next uh, element is uh, brush size here you uh, have to select the size of the brush which you like you have minimal minimal size so you can say like okay the brush should grow from 0.1 let's say 
and the max size could be uh, 0 0.5 and you will have um, different course uh, image you will achieve the different effect you can play with that uh, then we have like random size then you will see the diff uh, that the uh, uh, randomizing effect on the brushes so one is big one is small this is completely random effect then is random size seed, seed. Uh, and then you have the last elements like rotation so you can uh, rotate the in the brushes uh, you can create random rotation so they are like completely uh, randomize you can go back with that and you see that they are completely randomized and you can achieve different effects with uh, brushes that they are randomized see it's, it's interesting you can create many interesting effects with that and that's it this is uh, the, how the point render works you can uh, load uh, as many uh, files as you wish. Uh, of course, you have to remember that every object which you import have to have the UV information inside. If uh, the object don't have the UV information, then even if you render out the point cloud, it will be like dark object. So every object which you import to the system, it has to have uh, UV information. If you have any additional questions, uh, you can visit uh, pointrender.com website or contact us via email. Thanks and good luck with your projects.